Adding a personal recording to a PowerPoint show. Now you are ready. So again, go to Insert, click on Audio, click Record Audio. A pop-up box will appear. You press the red button to record and the square blue button to stop. When you've finished, you can use the play button, which is the triangle, to listen to the recording. You can also press the record button again to continue recording. If you want to start over, you need to cancel and then reopen the record sound window. Once you are finished, click OK. A small speaker icon will appear on the slide, probably in the center of the screen. You can drag this to the side or corner of the slide if you like. If you no longer want a clip of recorded audio, you can select its icon and press the delete key to remove it from the slide. How to set up audio playback. You click on the speaker icon. You will then see a pop-up box. You click on audio tools tab. You click on the playback tab and you click on Hide During Show. Click on the down arrow for the Start box and a pull-down menu shows up. Click on Click. If you click on Automatically, you will hear, you will hear the recording or sound immediately when you come to this slide in your show. Adding a sound or music file. Display the slide you want to add to. On the Insert menu, click Audio and click Audio from File. A dialog box will appear from which you can choose the file that you want to insert. First you have to locate the sound file that you want. Double click the sound file that you want to insert and then click Insert. A speaker icon will automatically appear. You can move this to any location on your slide. And remember to set up playback. To play the music or sound automatically when you go to the slide, click automatically. To play the music or sound only when you click the sound icon, click when clicked. After these steps, your music is added to a PowerPoint presentation. Thanks for your attention. Now you're ready to try this in your own PowerPoint presentation.